Yo, what up, vlog? Uh, here in Chinatown in London. On my way to London, uh, on the plane all day actually, so interesting day for the vlog. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, this is one of the only pieces of content I made during this era. It was the airplane rant. Very high in the air, back from London, headed to uh, New York City. It, uh, I'm gonna watch it, see if it inspires another rant. Five years later, see ya. Just sat here and read 100 emails from people that were making 40, 50K, 30K, red crushing, red thank you economy, got inspired by me. But I was a spark. Uh, I was the one that had that insane thing that I have in me that made them say, hmm. You know, things that make you go, hmm. 80s reference, sorry. But then they had it in them. And so when I make this video, what's coming from my heart right now is, maybe you're watching this and saying, hmm, maybe I need to hedge. You know, if you work from 8 p.m. to 4 in the morning, will your dreams come true? No, you might not be good enough. You might have not picked the right product. But are we living in a world in 2012 that's so much better than your parents and grandparents and great-grandparents' generation because assholes like me can make videos when I'm 30,000 fucking feet in the air? Yes. And because of that, and because of those opportunities, and because we're networked in a way we've never seen before, and because sending an email to 100 people and one will answer and give you a shot matters, because of that opportunity, because of 2012, I beg you, I beg you to take a shot. Oh, you good? Shoot, there was something, oh, I knew I wanted to talk about. First of all, hey everybody, Airport Gary. This is, my, this is how I sign, by the way. People have been asking, if you've, if you've gotten a book from me, this, I sign my signature and then I do this in there. Um, selling. Uh, just came back from two days with Ryan Harwood and selling VaynerX, Pure Wow VaynerMedia. Uh, the, com the competition conference I'm doing at, at Wine Library. The, uh, the, nope, not a fan. I just think everybody is now. <laughs> he said Sanjay. I'm just like, if anybody says anything, I'm like, hey. Um, <laughs> the competitor conference, uh, the Wine of the Month Club, uh, the Digital and Corks, the 4Ds. It's been a fun kind of four or five months of selling for me, which is not where I normally am. And, uh, and it made me think of something, which is the way I do branding, I sell so infrequently uh, that I think some of you that are watching me the hardest core need to hear this, which is it's okay to sell, especially if you believe in something. Like if you believe in what you're selling, and that's what I'm spending a lot of time on now, trying to spend more time on really getting to a place where I really believe in stuff. Instead I was just passive, not creating. So I wasn't selling because I didn't believe, you know, and just letting everything come to me. But as I create these, you know, events, Vayner Experience, a lot of events, very big on events. Events are so valuable. Just watching the 4Ds crew, it's value and like how it's impacting their business for $10,000, right there, I mean you see, I know you're getting emails. Um, the wine club. Like $150 worth of wine for 55 bucks. Like I've just locked in November's. It's gonna make all your Thanksgivings ridiculous. The conference, $500 two hour session in my stomping grounds. Good deal compared to like other conferences that I speak at. Um, but you're getting the wine for free or you're getting the talk for free and you're getting the wine. So like I'm very fascinated because I'm putting more pressure on myself to create things that I really believe in which then allows me to sell more and I, I just think for a lot of you, selling, the ask, the right hook is very difficult. Uh, you're, you're passive, you, you like the idea of like feeling good about like giving out content, this and that. When you believe in something, you can sell it and, and you should put more pressure on yourself to create things that you believe in. The biggest problem is so many of you sell shit you don't believe in, you're just doing it for the fucking money and you're gonna fucking lose. And that I don't like. Let's go to London. In the, uh, in the spirit of always trying to add little hacks, uh, tried something new on, on this London trip. Um, usually we go late, land, <clears throat> and it's like a whole tough day, and so went early today to London, land, and now it's late here, not as late at home. My plan was to do a lot of work, land here, and then, uh, and then go to sleep and just be in a good rhythm. Unfortunately, I haven't been sleeping much as I'd like. By the way, real quick, always getting six, seven, eight, but 
got some fives and sixes in a row and got a little tired, so had a glass of wine and conked out, so didn't work out, but here's the point why I'm sharing it with you. Uh, need to try different things uh, and different patterns. London wasn't working, I wasn't as productive, and I was always very, very tired, so tried something new. Not exactly executing my game plan, but uh, the fact that I'm trying something new makes it ROI positive. 1014, the competitor business conference. Next post on Snapchat, swipe it up, check it out. Yo, what up vlog? Uh, here in Chinatown in London, driver explaining it to uh, Jordan D Rock. Uh, 11 p.m. at night. Same old, same old. Thank you. I want to wrap this up very simply. As much as things change, like fucking Shake Shack in the middle of London, things stay the same. And for me, that's very simple. People innovating all around, voice, Instagram, all that shit. But. It's the grind, it's the message, it's doing the right thing, it's the context of the content. For the next 20 years, I'm gonna say the same shit. The platforms are gonna change. Your attention's gonna move like that bag just moved. But the game's the fucking same. See ya. So, I think when I get the praise, it's what the fuck does that have to do with me? When I get shit on, I'm like, that's on me and I'll fix it. And I think those, you know, that was a, I said it really quick, but it's fucking accountability. It's accountability and ownership when you suck, and it's passing on the credit when you fucking rule. And that's it. And that's me, and that's my makeup. And that's why I'm winning in life, and that's why I'm always gonna win. Because when you are fucking 100% accountable, and you know your shit, you're garbage, when you're 100% accountable, when there's an issue, and when you pass on the praise when you're getting it, you become fundamentally undefeated, unbeatable. I'm straight up unbeatable because my head will never get gassed up enough, ever, when I'm getting it good, and, uh, and I'll never believe it's me, and when it's bad, I'll never point the fucking pit finger to anybody else. All you fucking finger pointers, pointing everywhere. Everybody's fucking pointing fingers. Pointing them everywhere. It's everybody's fucking fault but yourself. Your country, your environment, your parents, school system, your boss, your aunt, your fucking circumstance. And of course, and of course there's tragedies and crimes and child abuse and real bad stuff. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm saying for the 95% of you, it's a mindset thing, perspective. Perspective is everything. I'm grounded in my perspective. Never too high, never too low. It's about them when it's good. It's about me when it's bad. That's me. That's what I got for you. That's where I'm at. That's my mindset. And I never waver. It's a fucking 100%. Never fucking waver. I have my bad days. But I keep that shit to myself. Every spotlight. Every sound bite, everybody who gave up is just a fuel for wanting him more than anybody against us. So what's going on? Let me answer some questions now. What can I help you guys with? 